Hello, hello, and welcome back. With 3.0 now released in EU, we now got the new class, the Brawler. Similar to the Executioner class released in patch 2.7, the Brawler also has its own story up to level 20. And that is exactly what we're taking a look at today. But before we begin, let's create our Brawler. And with our brawler created, we can now start the story. We start our journey in some kind of dream world in which we meet Sarakia. She says that she remembers us, but we don't really remember anything. Neither her nor anything about our past. She assures us that she will help us to regain our lost memories. We close our eyes and concentrate, and as we open our eyes again, we were now in a very different place. A woman named Lindiana walks into the room and tells us that we have missed our morning lesson. Obviously confused, we ask her what she means, where we are and who she is. She only says that this isn't funny and we should hurry because Master Diat is looking for us. We then smash our door open because who needs a door anyway? When we arrive in the classroom, Master Diaz is already waiting for us. He was concerned because we didn't show up to the morning lesson. We didn't explain that we weren't feeling well, and that's why we weren't there. He then proceeds to give us a little test on the history of Atreya. One of the questions was, what was the historical background of the Cataclysm? And our answer was, the Balao rebelled against Aeon and started a war. Which was an answer Master Diad was not happy with. The Balao started a war? The Balao have long been committed to world peace and to the well-being of the Devas. Where did you get that ridiculous idea? These questions continued, but we were not able to answer them to Master Diad's likings. He then asks if we took our morning medicine, because we are behaving very strangely today. We say we don't remember, what medicine does he mean? He now knows what's going on, that's why we were behaving so strangely. It is very important to take the potion of enlightenment three times a day. He then hands us the potion and we drink it. Before moving on with our lessons, he tells us to read the history books again since we weren't able to give him the right answers before. The truth of the Cataclysm tells us about how the Empyrean Lords became intoxicated with the Tower of Eternity's power and tried to control everything in the world. The Balao tried to stop them and had mercy with the Devas that were mere slaves to the evil Empyrean Lords. In Atreus' Ferric Field, it says how the Empyrean Lords put up the etheric field to hold the Devas captive. And many more of these examples. As we return to Master Diat, he once again explains that it is very important to take the potions three times a day and to show up to all the lessons. We have potential and may be chosen to enter the Eternal Paradise. He then sends us to our physical training. At the training dummies, we not only meet Lindiana again, but we also meet Setan, who also seems to be a friend of ours. After warming up by beating the training dummies, we are then sent to another section where we meet Kumanka, the Balaur that apparently decides who is fit to enter Eternal Paradise. He overlooks our training today where we are supposed to fight other students and show what we are capable of. After we won against two other students, Kumanka says that we really do have potential. With our training finished for the day, we return to the students' quarters where a happy message awaits us. We have been chosen to enter the eternal paradise. But it's not only us, it is also Satan and Lindiana all three of us have been chosen 
to enter the eternal paradise. With everything happening tomorrow, we decide to get some rest and go to sleep. On the next morning, we wake up a bit later than the others. So we hurry up and get on our way to find them. But on the path are dead students and many claws that are feeding upon them. We fight our way through the claw and fight our friend Satan, badly injured on the ground. We try our best to treat his injuries, but after he said we should take care of Lindiana, he died. Trying to find Lindiana, we encounter a big claw. After a fierce battle, we defeat the claw, move on and find Lindiana also injured on the ground. She tells us that Satan tried to lure the monsters away from her, and that's how they got split up. But there were too many of the claw and she had to fight them, which didn't work very well. We tell her that we have to leave. We take care of the claw that keep appearing while Indiana shall focus on escaping. This worked, for a while at least. Lindiana fell to the ground, she couldn't move on. She tells us that we shall go, at least we have to make it out alive. Reluctantly we go on without her and meet Komanka, the blower that inspected our training session the day before. We ask him for help because Lindiana is injured, to which he simply says, if she's injured, she will just lag behind. In this test, stragglers get left behind. Instead be happy that you are the only chosen one. We insist and repeat that our friend Lindiana needs help, which does not make Kumanka happy. Bah, useless creature, that's it, everyone has failed this time. With a finger snap, a creature appears and attacks us. We manage to defeat it, but in the meantime, Kumanka has disappeared. Confused with this entire situation, we wage our options and in that moment, an unknown Deva appears beside us. The Deva explains that she is here to help all of us and rescue us from this terrible place. We tell her that our friend Lidiana needs help but she answers that she has not seen anyone that could be saved on her way to us. She also reveals that something similar to what happens here also happened to her and only thanks to a courageous Deva that saved her that day, she can now be free and grant this freedom to others like us. The Balaur are training and manipulating Devas here making them into soldiers for the Balaur, they are sent into the etheric field and cause chaos there. And those who are not willing or not capable enough will simply be disposed of, similar to what happened here today. We decide to work together with the mysterious Deva to help save more of the students or captives now and to learn the truth about everything that happens here. As we head further into the manor, we discover many prison cells with devas of various backgrounds, some from Verteron, Sanctum, Eltnan, and also some from Morheim and Baloslan. The documents also tell us that some were brought to the Balaur by Lepharists, but furthermore there are also Lepharist devas themselves taken captive here. But more importantly, if they have documents of all devas here and where they come from, then they should also have documents about us that might remind us of where we come from. After looking around for a while, we found the documents of Lindiana and Satan. Lindiana was an Ilias Deva from Bertro, and she was set to be disposed of. Satan was an Asmodian Deva from Altgar, and not only was his memory reset, but he was now also set to be disposed of. And then we found a document that is about us, but the page has been torn, only our name is visible anymore. We fight our way through the Balaur to get to the Refuse Depot. The only thing we find is that both 
Satan and Liliana had already been killed. We make our way back to the mysterious helper and plan our next move. We have to go to the high security lab and destroy the materials and equipment to make these potions, which they use to manipulate the devas. After that succeeded, we move on and find our trainer, Master Diat. We warn him about the situation of this place and that he has to escape with us. Well... <laughs> It turns out that our master Diat was in reality a Balaur and the lord of the manor. The mysterious helper points out an interesting fact here, saying that apparently more Balaur than only the Balaur lords are capable of transforming into a human form. Our last mission here is to destroy the portals they have constructed to get to Elysia and Asmodee to abduct Devas. For that, the mysterious helper hands us a few bombs. After we placed four of them, the Balaur Kumanka blocks our path and fights us. Defeating Kumanka was not an easy task, but we had to destroy this place. Our mission is not done yet. The mysterious Deva tells us to leave via one of the portals before she activates the bombs, but we refuse. We tell her that she shall leave and we will activate the bombs. We have to do it for our fallen friends. Reluctantly she agrees and tells us that we should not dare to die. We made a promise to leave here alive together. We shall find her after we get out of here. Her name is... Sarakia. Back in this dream world, we once again see her, our helper, our comrade, our friend Sarakia. It was her all along. She is glad that we have regained this part of our lost memories. She then explains that even though we have managed to put an end to the manner of illumination, when the corridors blew up, we also disappeared in the huge explosion. She searched far and wide for us, and finally she was capable of finding us. Sarakiel stretches out her hand towards us and says, Come, take my hand, and let's get out of here, so we can meet again in the real world. We then wake up in Sanctum, where we are called to the High Priest Eucleus. He tells us that he has heard all about us from Sarakiel, how we risked our life to save the Devas of Atreya. Due to our great sacrifice and willingness to help others, Sanctum is willing to grant us a new identity and help us start our life anew. Now as an Ilios, we meet up with Sarakiel and ask her what we shall do now. You already know the answer. You simply have to carry on living the way that you have done so far. Let's help other devas in need, just like you helped me. Together, we'll be even stronger. Are you ready? Now the brawler has a new path before him. A path where he aims to help people in need and also to uncover the mystery of his forgotten past. I hope all of you enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a new take on what I usually do. So please let me know if you like this type of videos more or give me feedback as to what you would like to see. Also let me know if you would like me to do the same with the Executioner class that got released in 2.7. Because even though I played the class in the story, due to a busy real life I was unable to make a video about it at the time. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful week and see you next time. Bye!